hey guys welcome to gromed in this video i will be sharing the questions which were asked in the fmg e chan 2024 uh, so this is a list of the topics from which the question was asked and also i will share which type of question was asked was it case or image or one liner okay so we will discuss all those points one by one here in this video so before starting if you are new to gromed subscribe and tap the bell icon so that whenever i post a video you will get a notification I have also uploaded the video on the questions from the other subjects so you can find those videos on my YouTube. So let's look at the questions now. Uh, there was a question on the subdural hemorrhage. Okay, so subdural hemorrhage, a repeat topic. Uh, the brain hemorrhages, that topic is an important topic and every year a question is asked on the brain hemorrhage. Okay, image based question is asked particularly uh, either the subdural or the arachnoid hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage or the extradural hemorrhage. So you need to look at all the points regarding this. Then moving on to the next topic, the shock, neurogenic shock. Shock is also a repeat topic. Uh, so questions are asked repeatedly on the shock. Every year there was a question mainly on the hypovolemic shock, but this time it was on the neurogenic shock. Okay? And it was a case describing the features like uh, hypo, hypotension and ECG was normal, but E fast was negative and uh, he was having bradycardia. Okay? So uh, it points towards the neurogenic shock. So types of shock uh, and the management of the shock are must do topic from the surgery then the next question square muscle carcinoma uh, there was a question on this and the uh, question was asked on the management okay so usually for the square muscle carcinoma we will do the wide local excision okay then a uh, question was asked on the refeeding syndrome the question was mostly asked on its components okay which of the following components are seen in the refeeding syndrome then ca esophagus esophagus cancer also a repeat topic uh, Usually questions are asked on the esophageal disorders, okay, like the cancer, then ecclesia, cardiac diffuse, esophageal spasm, okay, Zenkers diverticulum. So mm -hmm. esophagus and uh, disorders are must do topic. Uh, then the question was asked on the investigation. So as we all know that for the esophagus, we will be doing the endoscopy and we will be taking the biopsy. So this was a simple uh, question. Most of them would be able to solve it easily. Then there was a question on the body's grading uh, for the limb ischemia. So from the from the general surgery this is also a repeat topic point is grading grade 1 2 3 and 4 and the grade 1 signifies that there is intermittent claudication then grade 2 uh, patient is able to only walk a certain distance because of the pain he will stop walking after some time and uh, grade 3 and grade 4 okay so you need to look at all those and along with that the other things like the dvt the ischemia index okay so all those points regarding this you need to look then parotid swelling uh, management so there was a question describing a parotid swelling which was superficial okay so superficial meaning that you have to first make the diagnosis as the warthing tumor okay and for the warthing tumor how will you manage it we will usually do the superficial parathyroidectomy okay. okay then moving on acute pancreatitis uh, so the question was a pretty easy question on the acute pancreatitis describing that the pain and the radiating to the uh, scapula uh, which of the following will be the diagnosis okay so Almost everyone can solve this question very easily. Then ulcer. There was a question on the ulcer. Uh, Image-based questions. And the question was asked on the borders. Uh, whether the borders were inverted or inverted, pulled out. How the borders were. So ulcer, ke images, ke saath saath, which type of ulcer shows which type of borders. You need to look at those points also. Then congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Favorite, favorite question of the FMGE. Uh, FMG is Kevina CH. CDH ke bina question paper set ho hi nahi sakta FMG ka theek hai so every year repeatedly question is being asked on this topic so aapko iske sare points learn karke jane padenge theek hai so this time mm -hmm. the case it was a giving a case theek hai so a uh, children tha he was having respiratory distress and uh, on the chest x-ray there were multiple air fluid levels theek hai so multiple air fluid levels matlab the small intestine herniated into the chest so by looking at all these features, uh, you can come to the conclusion that it was congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Then gas gangrene, ye, ye bhi a case tha describing the features of the gas gangrene like crepitus were noted in the joints and the history of trauma. The amputation was done and there was a swelling along with the crepitation. So by looking at all these points, you will be easily able to diagnose it as gas gangrene. Then for near gangrene also a very important topic and a repeat question. Uh, so it was a simple image also and along with that some features were also described of the fornier gangrene okay. then hernia hernia is also a very 
इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अ मस्ट डू टॉपिक ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल्सो रिपीट क्वेश्चन एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द हर्निया तो यूजली तो हम मैश डाल के रिपेयर करते हैं ना हर्निया प्लास्टी हर्निया डोमी सो क्वेश्चन में क्या डिस्क्राइब किया गया है बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू नीड टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन देन नेक्स्ट अनदर फेवरेट फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एफ एम जी थी गैस्ट्रोस्काइसिस ठीक है सो इन द सर्जरी के इंटीग्रेशन में गैस्ट्रोस्काइसिस पूछा था एंड एनाटॉमी के इंटीग्रेशन में ओम्फेलोसिल पूछा था इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो आई थिंक गैस्ट्रोस्काइसिस एंड ओम्फेलोसिल अ मस्ट डू टॉपिक एंड इनके बिना भी एफ एम जी ई का पेपर कभी बनता नहीं है ठीक है सो देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द मैनेजमेंट सो इमीडिएट रिडक्शन एंड क्लोजर ऑफ द इफेक्ट then moving on के non wall appearance on the chest एक्सरे as we all know that it suggests the metastasis ठीक है एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन विल बी द रीनल सेल कार्सिनोमा ठीक है तो इमेज दी गई थी चेस्ट एक्सरे एंड यू हैड टू आइडेंटिफाई कि उसमें के नॉन वॉल अपियरेंस दिख रहा था देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सर्जरी था पेशेंट में uh, मतलब पेशेंट को ब्रेस्ट कैंसर की सर्जरी की गई थी एंड आफ्टर दैट कॉम्प्लिकेशन पर नोटेड सो इट वॉज द लिफेंजियोमा विच वॉज सीन इन द पेशेंट बिकॉज इन द केस दे हैड देर डिस्क्राइबिंग द फीचर्स लाइक स्वेलिंग ऑफ द लिम्ब अपरलिंग स्वेलिंग ऑफ द हैंड एंड रेडनेस हो गई थी ठीक है एंड इट वॉज वेरी पेनफुल फॉर द पेशेंट सो सो इट वॉज द लिफेंजियोमा ठीक है and फाइव grow adenoma also a must do topic ठीक है तो breast की जितनी भी topics हैं like breast surgery breast cancer then फाइव्रो adenoma the phalloid tumor mastitis acute mastitis then breast abscess all these are very important topic टॉपिक ठीक है सो ब्रेस्ट टॉपिक से भी टू या थ्री क्वेश्चन हर साल रिपीट होते हैं सो यू नोट टू लुक एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग द ब्रेस्ट ठीक है देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द साइंस ऑफ द वूंड डेहीसेंस सो दिस वॉज आई थिंक अ रिपीट क्वेश्चन so there was a question on which of the following suggests the wound dehiscence uh, so as you all know that it will be a serious discharge from the wound site okay so uh, another very easy and a simple question the ercp complication uh, which will be acute pancreatitis then appendix cancer so there was a question which of the following will be most likely associated with the appendix cancer something like this okay and it was the mucinous cyst adenoma okay so this was something different type of a question asked from the appendix cancer so there was another question on the ideal inr value which should be 1.5 theek hai uh, so kuch ek line ka question diya gaya tha ki uh, sir, patient is being taken for a major operation so which of the following should be his normal inr something like that theek hai then sliding hiatus hernia so there was a case i think uh, and a question was asked which of the following will be seen most commonly something like that and the answer was the sliding hiatus hernia then the next question uh, cholecystectomy was done in a patient and uh, after the surgery the patient presented with respiratory distress so which of the following will be the cause so it will be uh, pulmonary embolism so this is also a repeat uh, topic pulmonary embolism okay so usually the question is asked Uh, the pattern of the question is changed either they'll be giving the dvt case or a trauma patient after road traffic accident bedridden for a long time and presents with respiratory distress okay so which of the following so this pulmonary embolism a must do topic and then there was another question on the trauma uh, the maxillofacial trauma how will you manage to secure the airway okay so uh, it was asked mostly the next best management okay and there were uh, in the options needle cricothyroidotomy and tracheostomy then intubation theek hai intubation to patient mein karenge nahi jab bhi uh, maxillofacial trauma hoga but i'm not sure which of the following will be the correct answer the needle or the tracheostomy because both of them were correct uh, but the pattern of the question might uh, be different a little bit so i'm not able to exactly recall what the question was theek hai but uh, the thing is you need to remember that uh, maxillofacial trauma ka management ke liye question pucha gaya tha theek hai so this whatever it is the a b c स्कोरिंग सिस्टम जब भी ट्रॉमा का होगा ना ए टी एल एस प्रोटोकॉल सो इट इज अ मस्ट डू टॉपिक क्योंकि एवरी ईयर वन क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट ऑन दिस सो इफ यू रीड ऑल द पॉइंट फ्रॉम दिस सो वन क्वेश्चन वन मार्क्स विल बी योर फॉर श्योर ठीक है सो दिस वॉज अ लिस्ट ऑन द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सर्जरी सो इफ आई मिस्ड एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन कमेंट इट बिलो ठीक है so that's it in this video guys i hope this video was useful to you and it will help you in your preparation for the upcoming july fmge like the video share it with your friend and subscribe to gromed thank you guys bye bye